This show is so different than Kathy Griffin, my life on the D list, because this is Alicia Cooper's life on the N list, a Negro. Kathy is already a multi-millionaire. That D-list thing is so played. This chick is on Tyra Banks talking about she took a private jet to a gig 15 minutes away. You know, I'm like, that is not D-list. Yeah, and I went to church recently last week and I realized why I stopped going. Like, church is very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> And as a broke comic, that'll make you depressed. Every time they pass the plate, you can't put nothing but a paper clip in it. People think that when they see you getting in limos and doing shows that you're making all this money. I even got a white man opening the door for me. Ooh, and then at the end of the week when you get your check, $125. I need to tally this up. I don't even think you. What's the problem? Yeah, I get in the arguments with bill collectors all the time because I don't have it. So you calling me all day and all night is not going to make it materialize. But somehow they don't understand that. Uh, just calling to see um, has anything changed? Are, are you going to be making the payment on the mortgage, or are you just going to let it? Going to default or? Oh, I'm definitely not going to let it go into default, sir. Definitely not. Um, I have a check coming July the 1st, and I plan on using the entire thing to pay you guys. This is this this is what the entertainment business is like. People don't understand that. They, they Just because you're on TV, they think that obviously you're rich, and it's not true. You can be on TV on Wednesday and Thursday be in foreclosure. Let's see. Uh, lawyer? Oh, Lord Jesus, I owe my lawyer? Something. I haven't worked in 800 years. Why do I owe anybody? What? That or your lawyer suing you. 641.52? 641? Yeah, and that's minimum and matter. I didn't even make 641.52 working on the show. How many people like American Idol? I love that show. But I think it's so cruel how people get booted off and then they make them sing again. That's like working at the post office, getting fired, and having your boss say, on your way out, can you drop off these last three packages? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Great. My name is Alicia, I'm here to see Nikki. Okay, I'll let her know that you're Thank you. Nikki, your client's in. Nikki, she'll be right with you. Thank you so much. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, girl. Good seeing you again. Likewise, likewise. Thank Follow me this so way. Much. We'll do. We have to do something about this chia pad on my head. Yes, we sure do. We sure do. Oh, wow. So what are we doing today, Miss Alicia? Woo, girl. We got a uh, man overhaul. Same yes. With me. Overhaul. Overhaul yes, is what we're yes. doing. But you know what? I'm, you know, I have a show this weekend. Uh huh. And that's what I'm really prepping for. So, and I've been really broke. Yeah. So I, it's, it's it's been a minute since I've been in the salon. This <laughs> little bit of hair right here was hundred and seventy dollars. And my my gas has been turned off. My electricity's been turned off. And my phone, my home phone is on, but the long distance portion has been cut off. And I got a so message no from DSL, the huh? no DSL. And I got a message from the cell phone people to say, "Pay us today, or this will be the last phone call you receive." But I had to get my head out. This is the priority. Right, right, this is the priority. Right. Yeah, this is the priority. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is the priority. Got your stuff all together. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll be putting that right in and taking this right out. Jesus. Nikki, can you make me look like this? Honey, I need you to know that I am not a magician. I'm a hairstylist. Jesus. Alicia, I want to talk about you, but you're my homegirl, so I don't know. Should I do it now or after? Ooh, and a new phone by Verizon. Look at that. <laughs> Unlimited calls, girl. Straight I'm, out of her head. <laughs> I've been missing this. I was wondering why my head was vibrating. Oh.
right now I'm trying to make a gourmet meal for the people that are coming over for the screening of Last Comic Stand of the Night. Fire shooting up from the side. I didn't have any butter to saute the onion, so I threw it right in with the meat. Yeah, I don't know if the meat good, but as long as people don't start earling and falling out and, you know, fighting for the toilet, I think that's a good sign. I personally won't be eating any of it. But this is a meal prepared out of love. I'm from Temple Hills, Maryland. I almost didn't make it here because airport security is tough as hell. I canceled my health insurance this morning because they're giving pap smears at the airport. <laughs> I'm in my 30s and I'm single, desperate, frustrated. I dated a homeless man, but I knew that he loved me for me he asked me to move out with him. I dated a 400-pound vegetarian. This guy showed up for our date with pistachios around his neck. Dating a homeless again. It's the same. Jeez, right. I have more stuff. Y'all just won't give me an hour. But let me tell you something. Come <laughs> back tonight for the callback. You better bring it. Okay. If not, it's on Kathleen. Consider it brought. He was like, if one more person tells a joke about the homeless, it wasn't my materials that he had heard too many people yeah. use that premise. Right, right, right. I got two players on a little too tight today. <laughs> <laughs> Next year he gonna come. He got, he got guns blazing for my black ass. <laughs> that was not real. I was the first name. comic to move on to the next round of Last Look Comic Standing is the Other Down. Them hoes wasn't funnier than me. 